Hi everyone, this is Amy for the Children's Museum at Saratoga. Thank you for joining me for today's art adventure where we are going to learn how to take a simple paper plate and turn it into a little dragon. So let's see what materials we're going to need for today's craft. For this activity, you will need a paper plate some scissors, a pencil, a popsicle stick, a stapler, some tape, and markers or paint. The first step to making our paper plate dragon is to take your paper plate and cut it right in half. Now that our paper plate is cut in half. We are going to take one side and set that to the side for now. And then the other half, you want to cut in half one more time. Now you have it cut in half. Part of this we are going to use for the tail and the head. And part of this we're gonna use for the wings. The wings are the easy part. All you need to do is once again take your plate and cut it in half. Now that we have our wings cut into the right size, we're just going to make them look a little bit more like wings. So what you want to do is just take scissors and cut a little bit here and a little bit here on each wing. So let me show you what I mean. take and just cut a little bit of this away into this sort of shape and then do the same thing here just cutting a little ways in like that just to make this edge look a little bit more like a wing shape and then once I have one of them done I can put it on top of my other one and trace the same exact cut that I just made. This one. There we go, now I have my wing shapes. And now I can set these aside and I'll show you how to do the tail and the head. So using our other piece, we are going to cut out the tail first and then we will do the head. So for the tail, we just wanna cut this part here, all the way across where those little ripples are for your plate. We do still want to keep this part though. So what I'm going to do is just cut along the edge here. There we go. That way I end up with this piece that I'm going to use for the head. And this is what we're going to use for the tail. So to start off with the tail, what we want to do is cut the end off so that it makes a point. One and two, just like that. Okay, and then we are gonna cut just a little bit in here. and just a little bit in there. Then all that I want to do now that I have these little spots here where I've cut in is I'm just going to cut here and I'm going to make some little points on the top. I'll show you what I mean. So 
all I want to do is take and cut in here. And I'm going to make just some little triangles. Okay, so the top of your tail is going to look like this with those little spines on it. And then I want to take where I cut this piece in and I'm just going to use the scissors to cut all the way around here. So here's that piece that I cut a little bit. I'm just going to put my scissors in like that and cut <clears throat> down to the bottom. I'm going to keep it a little bit rounded because that's the way that it should look. And we end up with this. So now we can set our tail aside and I will show you how to draw the head before you cut it. All right, so to draw the head of the dragon, I want to take this inside piece of the plate and lay it down flat just like this. Then this part is going to be the neck. So I'm going to do just a little curve here. Then I'm going to come down like this. This is going to be the bottom of the head. And then we're going to make a curve up like this and finally we're going to make one more curve up like this and then i'm going to cut out this part on the outside here all right, once you have your head all cut out you can draw whatever kind of face you would like for your dragon to have all right, now that we have all our separate pieces cut out, we can put our dragon together. Um, so you can use tape, you can use a stapler, you can use glue. I'm going to be using a stapler today, but whatever works for you is what you should use. I will show you the basic steps of putting your stuff together though. So first, we're gonna take the body of our dragon and we are going to take our tail and we are going to attach that tail to the body. So um, one side of the plate kind of caves up. You can do this whichever way that you would like. It does not matter. Um, either way you want your dragon to face is fine. So you're going to take this, you're going to take that and you want the tail to be on the back so put your tail on this back part here and then you can just come together like that here we go next we are going to do the wings so one wing we want straight up the other wing we are going to put on the opposite side of the plate. So what it's going to end up looking like is this. So one wing goes on this side and one wing goes on the other side. But what we want to do is put them close together so we can glue or staple or tape in the same spot. There we go, there's our wings. Now we need our head. And for the head, you're just going to take it and put it on top just like that. I'm going to take it here, put it on top, just like that. Perfect. And then if you would like to take your dragon and turn him into a little puppet, 
you can take your popsicle stick and put that on the opposite side. And for this one, we're just gonna tape it. Just like that. Ta -da! So the main part of your dragon, just putting it together, is done. Now, what you want to do is color your dragon with your markers or with your paint in whatever sort of way that you want to. And there we go. There is our paper plate dragon. And if you have any extra little pieces of paper plate left over, you might be able to make some little extras for your dragon. All right, so thank you all for joining me for today's art adventure. As always, feel free to like or comment or share our videos. And if you do make our craft, please share pictures with us. I will see you all next time. Bye.